Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Fight Star 3. So right, last time Sari joined us and we got she brought with us the tower, power topaz. I don't think I've ever explained. We actually need the tower po power uh, tower. Why do I keep saying tower? Po ta paz. Really? I don't get mi that mixed up. Power topaz to get into satellite. But anyway, first, I'm gonna end up doing some grinding, but I'm not sure if she can equip this. Ah, and she can. This is probably the best helmet in the game for lanes. Well, uh, for certain lanes, I mean. And it's own fears, I believe it's fears only bandana or helmet I guess you could say in the entire generation but anyway we got that it's a bit expensive but there's actually some very good stuff we can buy in the next time we're going to and trust me we're going to need it well, we don't actually really, I don't think we really need it. Because we got hell of a lot of power and defense anyway, but it will help. It would help a lot. And that helmet for fear is going to help our defense hell of a lot. Trust me to walk it right straight into a battle. Right, you have to go a little bit to the east and go south down here. Where we see a dragon. Worth it. You couldn't see it, but when I had that battle happen, I was rolling my eyes. <laughs> Out of sheer hilarity. But anyway, as I was saying, a dragon. Is it friendly? Come on to my back. I'll take you over to Techno. Techno. Well, thank you, Mr. Dragon. Although you. The way you are going right now, you look like you've. Had one too many. And he's. The hell? Turned into a king? It's loyal! I have the power to change into a dragon. Yes, it was I who stole Maya so very long ago. So he stole Maya. He took Maya from the altar. And he said, us, Please do not tell Reese. Well, of course. And he died. But the woman did say he wasn't going to live very long. But that's a revelation. An actual one. I said, did say, Sorry, being. In London, or being the daughter of Lena was a revelation. Actually, I was wrong. That was not a revelation. I don't know why I called it a revelation, but it wasn't. This was. And what we're going to learn next is a revelation. But I don't think we'll see her for a while. Well, not until I'm finished grinding that, of course. Or gold farming. Whichever you prefer. Oh wait, hang on. It's time I sold this. I don't know how long I've had that in my bloody inventory, but... My god. Like armor. I'm going to have to grind, but... I don't mind. I really don't mind. The stuff's not really terribly expensive. Well, the weapons are quite expensive. Some of them are.
I didn't think there was much. Ten. Of course, this game suffers from Dragon Quest Syndrome of having weapons and armor being really overpriced. That's one thing I hate about the game series. Uh, no, I don't have enough. Arisha, do not buy this. Shields, only a few players in the game of this of this game actually use shields. They're only useful for these one character, and that's it. But anyway, do want and do want. This will be very helpful for fear. I really want this. I should have brought it first, but oh well. And I did not mean to confirm. And let's have a look at the weapons. I want two claw, like coating claw, like owning. Well, I want f two of these. But these, sorry, this attack is gonna go over three hundred. Yays. This will be rather useful. However, it's they're very expensive. Unnecessarily expensive even. Laconian sword. And a pulse cannon. Better version of Ren's cannon. Obviously. I'll do before I stop the video to To do the grinding, I'm gonna show off a few enemies here. Although, to be fair, they're not really worth talking about, they're not really very interesting. We've got Ratnigs here, there's actually a stronger version of them. Some around on this island. Oh, and something I really should have mentioned. Once you go across this island, new enemy. Once you go to this island, you cannot go back to the mainland. I really should have mentioned that before we opt on the dragon. But anyway, new enemy here, Feralbot. It's pretty much a stronger version of Dogbot, and it casts Foy. And uh, not very interesting actually. To speak of, rather weak, despite being better. Darche and we have Doomfly. Doomflies can poison, so watch out. And you already know, should already know about my feelings on the poison status effect in this game. It's incredibly annoying. I think that's all the enemies I want to introduce. I don't know why I'm still recording. Own Demon Slicer here and Blinks. Own Mini Max also appear. So, yeah, very weak enemies, surprisingly. And I'm gonna kill you. But anyway, oh, this is gonna be so fun. By the time you see me, Everyone should have leveled up a few, gone up a few levels. Either one or two. Oh, praise the Lord. I've finally done it. I've finally done all the grinding I wanted to do, yes. Uh, everyone leveled about a few times. Probably more so than that they were in the last video. Well, early in the video, I mean. And oh Ren, if only a shop sold, sold some, actually some decent equipment for you. Well, decent armour for you, I mean. But anyway. It's time. 
We went to satellite. Really? Really? Okay. Um, do I want to though? Ah, oh, bloody hell. Ain has better, seems to have better defense than, sorry, about 10 more. But I'm debating where I've switched them over. Well, sorry, it's 10 less. She has a lot of HP. So, whatever my decision is, it's a double edged sword. But I think I'll keep her in the front. But anyway, Techno, the castle of power. Awesome name. Satellite is called Asura. And the plague cyborgs actually came from satellite. The haven that we must have. And they've taken over the bloody castle. The castle is 100%. Only entails this is a place of peace. Oh my. That sounds not very nice. But who cares? As such king says. Well, as Zetch Zetch King once said, there's no point in living if you can't feel alive. Same old, same old. Enemies seem to be in here. I don't know why, but I'm feeling very good. Well, maybe it's because I'm near the end of this bloody generation. Oh, new enemy. I don't know what it's called. I don't think I'll ever find out. Oh, well. Unfortunately, I can't remember where the hell I'm supposed to go. A uh, glass sticks? And I think that's a new enemy down there. Oh, yes, that. Those slices are really helpful. Although, to be fair, they didn't raise her attack really as much as I wanted to do. They didn't raise their Razor attack as well as I wanted it to. Bit expensive. Sorry, just checking something. Try, mate. We need to find the quick path to go down to sitting somewhere. Have fun finding it. Nope, that's dead end. New enemy. Another one. Oh, new and yet another new enemy. Sorry about that. I had a little interruption. Oh. But anyway, there was a new enemy in that battle. Good thing it's either called a flopper. Yes, I've called a flopper. Uh, just as pathetic as everything else we've. Bums into so far. Well, it just calls for damage, but probably stronger than if we didn't have all this armor. This armor, if we didn't do that money grinding, am I still catching these things? But well, just two assaults from a slicer. And they're gone. Those slices have just noticed this. Ah, uh, maybe I've got to go all the way back up. Thanks. Is that going in here already? 
Um, I guess not. That's my brother talking in the background, by the way. In case you're wondering. I didn't want to say anything. Just because I didn't want him thinking me as a complete kook. Talking to myself. Although I'm actually recording my voice. It's a very easy mistake, I suppose. I hope. And why the hell am I talking through these bowels? I should be shutting up so I can cut them out. Sorry, just up, and we st we're still bumping into agree bots. Really, you default that the upgrade to slightly stronger enemies, considering that we're near the end of Generation 2, here by the mid game, ready to go into nearly the end game, or the last leg of the game. But we're still here fighting pretty much the same enemies we've already seen. I'm surprised actually. Although maybe I'm expecting too much of a difficulty. I didn't mention, did I, that this game was quite easy. Well, as long as you remember to update your equipment and armor. I think that was kind of redundant. Um, I mean, weapons and armor. There we go. Equipment and armor, what the hell? You are the first of your people to visit us. The tower power, tower, power topaz proves your courage and worth. You have earned the right to know the truth. It's time for you to see your true world. Okay. Going into the shape is automatic, by the way. When you go into the square. And we going into space. Wow. Really? Know your true world at last is a giant spaceship built by our ancestors. Is everything implied that it's never don't think it's really explained in this game. No actually yes it is. In an area that is completely optional. I can't remember where it is where exactly it is, but I do know it's in a world we haven't visited yet. Just quickly saying, we now approach a craft known called Satellite that we're sent to find. As you see, it's also an ancient spaceship. I'm going to be honest, I hate the music here. I mean, it does a good job at sounding like a spacey, like, temple like place. But it really does my ears it in when I hear it in sp with headphones on. There's actually new enemies here, thank god. No version of the whole bot. No matter how many times I, s I see that thing, it still looks ridiculous. A new uh, member of the uh, Cow Spy, I think it was called that, family. The third version of it we have finally encountered. I think this is the only giant. No. Maybe it isn't? I don't know. I, I was thinking of something. And I really like that background. I really do like that battle background. I don't think I've really mentioned, but I think I might show it off in a bonus video. But the Japanese version in the battle um, sequences. You know how the clouds and stars have parallax, parallax scrolling? The ground did as well. Although, to be fair, I've seen it and it kind of made me feel ill. A bit, kind of felt, felt dizzy. Probably why they removed it, because it seems a bit dizzying. 
but it's a really odd effect. It would have really worked for these clouds. But anyway, back to cutting off videos. I was just, no, cutting off battles, I mean. I just really wanted to say that. I only just remembered about it. Why the hell does this press the RB? Okay. I have a funny feeling I'm walking into dead end. No, maybe I'm not. Oh yes, I think I realised about what the guy just said. I just remembered. Satellite is Azura. The moon we moved as Reese. I only just realised that. Bloody hell. I feel completely as I feel absolutely stupid after that. God the love. In case you're wondering about the other one, we're gonna be visiting the other one. And we'll get a new party member. And we'll get an item there. But right now, we're just going to find who's on here and stop this madness. Oh wait, this is a new enemy. I only just noticed that. <laughs> and they ambushed us. I can't remember what it's called. I'm not very good with these enemy names, to be fair. I didn't read and I never able to catch what's being said. Right, and now it's time for the dungeon. There's actually new objects here. Crack panels. You can't walk on them, obviously. Which means you have to find some other route. New enemies here, Vital. They're just women robots, but a pretty nasty kick. They go down pretty easy. I think we're going the wrong way. Try not to yawn. Can of coke here. I don't know, know why the hell I'm not drinking it. But I want me coke. Uh, yeah, I've been going the wrong way the entire time. Wondrous stuff. Oh, God. These enemies are being utterly destroyed. I don't think I've had such a strong party in my entire life. Well, the entire time I've actually played this game, I've never had such a strong party. <laughs> My god, chapter, I think chapter generation 3 is going to be a cakewalk. Uh, although I think that's... Play how I can't think of the word. Jinxing it a little bit. Although Ren and Mew are going to be the only characters from this party that will join that party. I think we're nearly there. Near, nearly there. 
I'm actually not sure if there's any items here. I don't think I've ever found any. My memory of this game is not very good. Considering I've beaten the game about, oh, I don't know, four times. Reach protagonist, and I've never really remember. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, there is treasure here. The random encounter rate is starting to piss me off, to be fair. For spanned. Ah, so I didn't need to buy that. I could have brought one here. So I wasn't her only helmet. Alright then, never mind. I got something better, so I'm not pissed off. But I didn't know that. In fact, I don't think I've ever found that treasure chest. Although I don't remember. I'm not sure if I keep, should keep these battles in. I am edited the video yet and I'm debating that actually. Because they're going pretty damn quick. However I'm pretty sure those watching this video will probably be, well get a bit bored of them. Although I think that's probably not the same. And who the hell is this? That one's definitely been cutting out. But anyway, two wrens? The freak? Frick? Who's this guy? He's Siren. So you find me after all, rabble. Seems a few rats escaped my cyborg army. So he's the one who is slaughtering lanes. He's waiting thousands of years for revenge on Leia and the people. We have a new enemy here, as well. I think we'll just attack, or was it a good idea to get me to heal? Because I really should have done that. I completely forgot to do it. But well, we got positive music, so we're obviously going to win this. Definitely. Ow, ow, ow. As long as you get people on gear rares, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. It's not really a hard boss. Bath problem is I forgot to heal before we start went to fight him. Uh, I think I'll get Fia to heal from. Here on out. Just because her damage output really isn't that great f for right now. During this fight. She was okay during the beginning with all those enemies. I didn't mind. But right now, we've got one guy. He isn't half hurting us, actually. He's repeatedly going for aim. I see. I mean, one. Easier than expected. One but a single battle. Aim. This war is not over, he'll return one day. And Prince Ain fulfilled his destiny. Rejoicing his people moved to the satellite. To King Reese decreed Ain should marry soon. I'm not sure if they wait until about, I don't know, three years, but it sounds like they, it's like they're trying to do some shock on here. Although it probably just says I'm completely stupid. We've got two choices. Fear or sorry. I'm gonna go for sorry just because I want to make my game a little harder. Just because your descendant is sorry. Has absolutely useless magic. In fear, I don't really want to because I've seen an LP already that's already chosen her. 
seem makes the game a slightly bit easier, thanks to his. All f he's the only character who uses all three attacks. And also, there's an unfortunate implication that Fear is Ain's cousin. And that really, that kind of unsettles me a little bit, to be fair. I'm not saying, not trying to discourage anyone from using Scene, because he's a good character. But, I just don't really like him for petty reasons. But that's just me. Helps you press right button. And I just love the sign. I accept, but no more quests for you. And we move back to London. And something that I like about also another reason I don't like really like about Marion Fear is that she ain't die. I don't really like that to be fair. It's kind of a downer to me. Although if you're married, sorry, you're in, the game says that the two of them are a battle couple couple. Nothing can defeat him. Well, to be fair, we have a very good lane character and a, and a game breaker. Of course, nothing's going to stand chance. Messenger from Missouri is here. Missouri gets blown up in scenes. Timeline, by the way. And he gets a pretty awesome moustache. And that's Christ when not in this bright. That shit's pretty cool. You have gun Siren is back. But he did say he was gonna come back. He pl plans to propel the world into the sun. Oh crap. That's not good. Although like I said, a scene, Azura gets destroyed, but I'm not sure if he does it. I think it's everything implied that. Siren does it. Or is it Dark Force? I can't remember. But he does exact vengeance, I think. Somewhere must be someone. Can aid us? Right, this cries. He's three fourths Orkian. He's bloody good. Seeing, I think, is a little weaker. But he has healing magic to compensate. Um, Crisis techniques are, to be fair, crap. He uses time techniques, which I never, never, never use, and his tech points are rather bad. Well, his pat tech power is pretty bad. Five compared to his father's rings, ten or nine starting. Ren's techniques seem to be getting better, although to be fair, they're all ones I use. And also they're redundant for Ren, to be fair. Just that he doesn't really have a lot of TP to use them. Pardon me. And I just burped, holy shit. I never really do, as I was saying. Ren's techniques are redundant. Just because... Techniques don't really do a lot of damage. I think I've explained that before. And he's better off just shooting things with a gun. He causes more damage and he about gets overdone with. But anyway. The second generation is gonna be slightly different if you if you married Oh let's talk to him. sorry. Defend your people and do not fail them. Thank you, mother. Right, as I was saying, if you married Leonard in Generation One, Generation One, Reese's son Niall will actually do half of the third generation quest. What with recruiting character, doing a little a quest. 
doing a small quest and getting a certain item we need for Ren. If you married Maya like I did, you have to do the whole bloody third gen quest. Which means this is going to be bloody long as hell. But I don't mind that. Although if you're a, a beginner of the game, I highly recommend you actually go in do Ains timeline, no not Ains, Niles, just because of how easier it is. But anyway, thank god I've got this video I'm done with. But anyway, next time we're actually going to go west and find something. See you then.